James Kaufman, World News Report today, September 20th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Astronaut captures stunning video of comet to Sachinchen Atlas. Matthew Dominic continues to wow us with impressive astrophotography from aboard the International Space Station. A video filmed by NASA astronaut Matthew Dominic shows a rare glimpse of comet to Sachin Hans Atlas as seen from the International Space Station. This is the same comet that is supposed to be visible to the naked eye during daytime in October. It has two names because it was discovered by two astronomers at the same time, supposedly. The time-lapse video shows the comet, designated C-2023A3T, seemingly hovering above Earth's atmosphere as it makes its journey towards the Sun. Quote, so far, comet to Sutchinson Atlas looks like a fuzzy star to the naked eye looking out of the cupola windows, wrote Dominic, commander of the SpaceX Crew-8 mission, in a post on X but with a 200 millimeter f2 lens at one ace exposure you can really start to see it this comet is going to make for some really cool images as it gets closer to the sun for now a time lapse preview will do dominic has been releasing stunning astrophotography during his time aboard the International Space Station, capturing gorgeous views of auroras over Earth, meteors exploding in our atmosphere, and star trails set against the structures of the ISS. Initially mistaken for an asteroid, C-2023A3 was determined to be a small comet a mere 1.2 miles across. The comet is traveling through our solar system in a retrograde orbit around the sun, meaning it moves in the opposite direction to most major objects like planets and other asteroids. Comet to Sachin Chan Atlas is believed to have originated from our Oort cloud, a theorized region of space surrounding our solar system that has not yet directly been observed. It is believed to be a vast spherical shell of icy bodies, including comets, beyond Neptune's orbit. The Oort cloud is considered the source of long-period comets that travel into the inner solar system, and its existence helps explain the observed trajectories of these comets. Now remember, this is supposed to be visible to the naked eye during late September into October. So this is going to be a serious sign in the heaven. God bless you and yours. Please share and subscribe. And always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.